If you think AI robots are still far away, let me shake you for a second. Because by 2026, yeah, not 2035, not someday, robots will be inside your home, your workplace, your gym, even your kitchen, quietly handling tasks you don't even think about. And the craziest part? You won't even notice the moment they slip into your daily life. Hey guys, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. Today we're breaking down 15 shocking tasks AI robots will handle for you by 2026 and why you absolutely cannot afford to get left behind. Let's start with something everyone deals with, caring for older parents or grandparents. If you've ever watched an elderly family member struggle with simple things, standing up, walking safely, remembering pills, it hits you in a very real way, and you can't be around them 24 seven. That's where robots like the Fourier GR3 come in. GR3 isn't some cold machine rolling around with beeping lights. It's slow, gentle, and built for small homes. It can recognize faces, talk in a calm voice, and help with light support. Not lifting weights. Support. Things like reminding them about medication, checking if they got out of bed, noticing if something looks wrong. Think of it as a second pair of eyes that never gets tired. But here's the crazy part. Once families see how much stress it removes, elderly care robots won't feel futuristic anymore. They'll feel essential. And speaking of emotional support, loneliness is hitting people harder than ever. Not everyone wants a robot that boxes or runs at 10 miles per hour. Some people just want presence. Someone who listens, looks at them, and responds naturally. That's where companionship robots like Xpeng Iron and Elf Series Xuan come in. Iron is built to feel physically comforting. The gestures are smooth, the movements look human, and the overall presence is warm, not cold. Xuan, on the other hand, is all about eyes and expressions. You talk to it, and it reacts with subtle facial micro-movements almost the way a human does. These robots won't do your laundry. They won't cook. Their only mission is to sit with you, talk to you, and make your room feel less empty. And trust me, once you experience a full-body AI companion holding eye contact with you, it hits way different than talking to a phone. It feels alive. Do you think Iron Robot could actually make someone feel less lonely, or is that going too far? Let's us know in the comments. Now let's shift to something way less emotional but equally life-changing. Laundry, folding clothes, sorting clothes. The most boring loop humanity ever created. It never stops, it never gets easier. And honestly, it never needed a human brain in the first place. That's why Figure 03 is such a game changer. This robot can pick up clothes, understand shapes, fold them neatly, and stack them better than half of us do. Imagine walking into your room and finding a clean pile of clothes ready without lifting a finger. You'll think a fairy visited. Nope, just a robot deleting chores from your life one by one. And here's the wild twist. Laundry might become the first major home chore that humans completely give up. Not because robots are impressive, but because we're tired of doing the same thing every three days. Factories feel the same way. A shocking amount of factory work is just looking at objects and checking for defects. Tiny scratches, misprints, crooked labels. Human eyes get bored. Human attention drops. But Magic Bot? It doesn't blink. It doesn't lose focus. It walks up to a station, picks up a product, rotates it under cameras, and instantly compares it to what a perfect version should look like. It's like having a super strict inspector that never gets tired and never misses a flaw. And that means humans can focus on fixing real problems instead of staring at items for eight hours straight. But robots aren't just stuck inside factories. They're stepping into stores and warehouses too. Agility's Digit is probably the most working robot you'll see in 2026. Digit walks like a human, fits in human aisles, carries totes, restocks shelves, scans barcodes, and even does nighttime inventory checks. Imagine walking into a store one day and seeing a humanoid robot silently moving a stack of items, scanning each one as it goes. You'd stare for five seconds, and then get used to it. That's exactly how fast this shift will happen. And wait until you see reception robots. Figure 03 isn't only folding laundry. It can literally stand at a front desk, greet visitors, recognize familiar faces, and point people in the right direction. 
It can hand over access cards, take a package, or answer the same question a hundred times without losing patience. And honestly, routine front desk work is perfect for robots. They handle the repetitive stuff, and humans step in when emotions or complex problems show up. It's the perfect tag team. Would you feel weird being greeted by a humanoid receptionist? Or would you get used to it fast? Drop your thoughts. I'm reading every word. Now the next category is wild because it turns every robot with a camera into a basic security guard. Face recognition plus mobility equals instant watchman. Robots can identify known faces, spot strangers, and notify humans faster than a person staring at a wall of CCTV screens. No chasing criminals. No wrestling people. Just scanning, alerting, and logging. In a building with a few robots roaming around, no one slips in unnoticed. The future of security is literally wheels and legs carrying cameras. Let me flip this to something way more fun. Content creators and athletes are going to love this. A robot cameraman. No tripod. No asking your friend to hold the phone steady. A humanoid robot can track your body, circle around you, zoom in, and follow your form as you lift weights, do yoga, or shoot a basketball. Imagine filming your workout in perfect smooth motion while you focus on training. This alone will boost millions of creators because the shots will finally look cinematic without hiring a crew. And here's the crazy part. Robots don't get shaky hands. Speaking of daily routines, let's talk coffee. A robot making your morning coffee will feel like having a personal barista on autopilot. Physical intelligence style robots can grab your mug, place the capsule, press the buttons, and even pour milk with delicate precision. Xpeng Iron has already shown this on stage. Smooth arm, soft hands, perfect timing. The robot doesn't just pick up a cup. It completes the full multi-step routine. And once you let a robot handle your morning prep for a week, you'll never want to go back. All right, quick little pause. If you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to subscribe to AI Nexus so you never miss the next robot update. Okay, back to the video. But coffee is nothing compared to cooking. Full meals. That's why the Moly or Mooly kitchen robot is so mind-blowing. This thing literally copies a professional chef's movements. It stands over a smart stove, grabs ingredients, stirs, flips, picks things up, and plates dishes with accuracy that seems unreal until you see it. It's like having Gordon Ramsay's ghost arms inside your kitchen. And you might think this is too futuristic, but it already exists. So imagine what 2026 versions will be like. Now let's jump to the serious stuff. Jobs where humans probably shouldn't be at all. Hazardous zones, radioactive leaks, chemical spills. You don't send a person in there unless you have no other option. PackBot is one of the robots already doing this. It goes in first with cameras and sensors, collecting info while humans stay at a safe distance. If something explodes or collapses, the robot takes the hit, not the person. This category will explode in the coming years because the logic is so simple. If it's dangerous, send a robot. And from danger, we move to saving lives. Search and rescue. Robots like Spot, Aliengo, and Go2 can climb over debris, walk through unstable structures, enter tight spaces, and carry thermal cameras to find survivors. They don't replace human rescuers. They expand their reach. Think of them as scouts that go into places too risky for firefighters and find the exact locations where humans are needed. In a disaster, information is the difference between life and death. Robots make that information instant. Then we have traffic management and basic police support. Fourier's robots have already been used to direct traffic at real intersections. They wave cars through, signal when to stop, and help control messy situations. Companies like Engine AI are building robots that can patrol areas, record what they see, and guide people. Nothing confrontational, just assistance. Robots take over the repetitive stuff while human officers handle real human problems. Now here's a weird one, but totally real. Dog training. Devices like Companion already use AI to watch dogs, talk to them, and give treats when they behave correctly. Imagine that same intelligence placed inside a small mobile robot. It can follow your dog around the house, practice commands, and keep them mentally active while you're at work. Dog owners are going to love this because training takes patience, 
and robots have infinite patience. And the final one might shock you. Creativity. For years, everyone said, robots can't be creative. But robots like Emeka chat, write poems, sketch ideas, brainstorm stories, and even perform on camera with human-like expressions. They're not replacing creators. They're becoming creative partners. A robot that reacts to your ideas, adds its own, and helps you build something new. It makes the process feel less lonely and way more fun. So here's the bottom line. Robots aren't coming. They're already here. They're slipping into tasks we forget even take time. Laundry, security, cooking, filming, talking, helping, checking, supporting. And the people who understand this shift early will be the ones who benefit from it. If you think that's crazy, wait until you hear this. Remember that viral female robot X Peng revealed? The one that walked so perfectly people thought it was a human in a suit? Well, X Peng just announced that the iron platform behind it is now heading into mass production. And before you think this is a small update, even Elon Musk reacted to the iron demo saying, not bad, Tesla and Chinese companies will dominate this space. Everyone else in the West is weak. If Musk is impressed, you know something big is happening. Hey guys, Alfie here. Welcome back to AI Nexus. Xpeng just revealed something nobody expected this early, and it changes everything. And behind this reveal, Xpeng made their boldest statement yet. Mass production, from vision to reality. Just a straight up confirmation that iron is entering the manufacturing phase. This isn't a lab experiment anymore. Xpeng is gearing up to build humanoids at scale. But here's the part that really shocked everyone. Xpeng didn't say whether these robots in formation were the male iron or the female iron. They keep calling it the iron platform. And they're technically right. The internals are the same. The body styling, the outer design, the appearance, those are all just skins. But let's be honest. The world isn't obsessed with the male iron. It's the female iron that broke the internet. The one that walked across the stage so naturally that millions of people refused to believe it was a robot. And if Xpeng is mass-producing the iron platform, guess what that means? That smooth, eerie, almost human female version could end up being the mainstream face of iron. And that is wild to think about. But here's where the story gets even crazier. Xpeng didn't just show a lineup of robots, they linked it to real numbers. They said 2026 is the year they start preparing the true manufacturing pipeline. And by the end of 2026, they expect large-scale production, not pilot batches, not test units, large-scale production. That's the kind of language companies use when they're preparing to ship thousands. And this means one thing for you and me. Humanoids aren't sci-fi anymore. They're becoming a product. If you had the chance, would you buy an iron robot in 2026? Yes or no, and why? Drop your thoughts below, I always check the comments, and some of your ideas are better than what the AI labs are doing. Now let's slow down for a second and talk about why this update is such a big deal. Because it's not only about the number of robots. It's about the female iron itself. The reason the world can't stop talking about it is simple. It doesn't move like a robot. It moves like a person. Before all this mass production talk, Xpeng showed off a female version of iron at their AI day in Guangzhou, and people were absolutely freaked out. This robot walked onto the stage with a clearly feminine shape. Slimmer waist, softer lines, model-like posture. And when it started walking, it didn't move like a typical stiff humanoid. It glided across that stage with slow, deliberate hip and shoulder movement. The arms swung naturally. It had this catwalk-style gait that made everyone's jaw drop. The audience started whispering and social media exploded with the same question. Is this really a robot or did Xpeng just put an actual woman in a robot suit? Multiple reports say people in the crowd were convinced it had to be a human performer because the walk looked way too natural. So what did Xpeng do? The CEO. His Xiaopeng brought the robot back on stage and literally cut into it. Right there in front of everyone. He peeled back the soft white outer layer, what some articles call synthetic flesh, and exposed the internal frame. Metal rods, servos, artificial muscle structures, the whole mechanical skeleton. And get this, he actually apologized to the robot while doing it. 
He said he hoped this would be the last time Iron needed to prove it is itself. That's both hilarious and kind of haunting at the same time. But it worked. Robotics analysts confirmed Iron really does use a human-like spine and leg architecture. There's this bionic fascia layer between the frame and the skin that helps smooth out motion so it feels organic. The female walk wasn't acting or tricks. It's real mechanical engineering in the hips, knees, and ankles, giving the robot that human gait. Peng has openly said iron will come in different body types and gender with customizable appearance and clothing. They want it to feel like a life companion or colleague, not just a cold machine. That's why they went hard on making the female version look and move so realistically. They're testing how people react to gender presentation in robots. And based on the internet response, mission accomplished. People are shocked, fascinated, and a little creeped out all at once. If you want real AI news without the fluff, make sure you're subscribed. We're just getting started. But Xpeng didn't stop at appearance. They wanted to prove the body wasn't just for show, it could move. They released footage of an iron robot doing martial arts moves. And I'm not talking about jerky robotic karate chops. This thing drops into a proper martial arts stance with knees bent, feet planted wide, upper body relaxed and centered. Then it moves through this slow, controlled sequence, arms sweeping in smooth arcs, wrists rotating into careful poses, fingers extending and curling with precision. The weight shifts from one leg to the other without any stumble or stutter. Xpeng captioned it, the robot kung fu master, with lines like, in every move there's balance, in every pause there's power, even robots can master the art of inner peace. Some people think it looks more like Tai Chi than hard Kung Fu because of how slow and meditative it is. But that's the point. The transitions are completely continuous, not stop motion animation. Why does this matter? Because under the hood, iron has 82 degrees of freedom across its entire body. That means the spine, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, wrists, and fingers can all coordinate together instead of moving like separate chunks. Each hand alone has 22 degrees of freedom for those delicate finger movements. And it's powered by three Turing AI chips pushing 2250 trillion operations per second. That's the compute power generating and controlling those motions in real time. Xping isn't just making a robot that can walk from point A to point B, they're choreographing the whole body to move like a living thing. But Xpeng didn't stop at showing off that Kung Fu flow. They wanted everyone to see the hardware wasn't just flexible. It could pull off movements with surgical precision two female iron robots walking side by side in perfect sync. And I mean perfect. Their movements are mirrored so flawlessly it creates this optical illusion like one is reflecting the other. But plot twist, there's no mirror. Both robots are real and they're syncing up in real time. The gait is inspired by fashion models on a catwalk. It's all thanks to that biomimetic spine and muscle system that mimics human anatomy plus rapid imitation learning where the bot copies human moves in seconds. Watching those two robots walk together is genuinely unsettling because of how human it looks. It highlights how repeatable and stable the robot gait can be when both units use the same motion patterns.